free agents looking for representation, but Dan has been taking the game a little bit less seriously lately. He just comes out here more for fun than anything. Mm -hmm. He's too busy playing Mario Odyssey. And JJ has also been kind of on a couple of breaks, too. Like, he took a long vacation with his family. Okay. But whenever these two play, it's always a very competitive set. But right now, Dan coming out hot. Yeah, of any two players uh, in Chicago, these guys probably up there and who played each other the most. These yeah, two are the two that have played uh, the 99 stock matches. Yeah. I believe JJ won that's the 99 stock set 2-1. Which is again a blast of the past. But okay, what? Dan. <laughs> Just... How did that hit him? <laughs> I'm assuming JJ did something to extend his his uh his hard box. Yeah, that... he, he just caught him with the very far end of that fireball. Yeah. And that would have killed pro the scary thing about that is that on that platform where it was probably killed like fifty percent earlier. Yeah. And Dan is kinda you know he's kinda going <laughs> going in right now. <laughs> he's mad. I've seen Dan do this before where he like goes to losers early. Yeah. And then just Dumpster, dumpster trucks baby. everyone. <laughs> no interest in playing competitive games. Just gonna come through here, do Mario and stuff. And Mario can ride that momentum really well too, especially when you're as creative with your combos as Dan is. Yeah. Oh, looks like he read that roll, but just a little bit too slow. Yeah, he didn't pull the trigger quite in time on that read. But that's promising for Dan here, because like yeah. it shows that he has the awareness. The, du the Diddy double spot dodge. Yeah. That gets me every time. And Dan is really positioning himself well right now to make sure JJ cannot pull a banana for free. But a little bit of a fumble with the item play there from Dan. He kind of got caught trying to catch the banana. And instead, he's going to eat that down tilt. Yeah, JJ finally getting that first stock. 59% on him, though. Uh, not too bad. I would say that 60... Oh, but the monkey flip going the wrong okay. way. Does he have enough time? Oh, what a great scoop. That was a really good recovery. Because Dan was definitely trying to intercept him, too. Yeah, you, he arced it all the way below, and he really had faith in how much time he had to charge. If he had charged for much longer, he was dead. Ooh, that up smash is almost killing him. The survival DI comes out to play here for JJ, though. And now with JJ behind, he <laughs> doesn't have much time left here. That grab. That was getting some really generous uh, <laughs> hitboxes. <laughs> Alright, so the back throw, is that gonna kill? Not, Not yet. yet. Wow. Diddy is pretty heavy, man. But he's gonna put Dan in the corner, and if Dan can't get out of this tricky situation of the Diddy ledge pressure, but he does. That could have been a lot of unanswered percent if we put JJ back in this game. But all right, good back air gonna eat up the banana too. Yeah, but JJ is doing a really good job at living. Ooh. He is not <laughs> not about to let Dan get this for free. This is the trouble, Mario. You don't have any down tilt up smash or like yeah. easy punishes to kill setup. But what? What? Dan almost died. That's the that's the dumb, huh? that's the stupid part. If his percent was a little bit higher, he probably would have died. What was that knockback on the back air? It sent him like barrels. completely nowhere. All right, it's going to be irrelevant. Dan's going to find the back air himself on stage. Barrels screw up everything, man. You, just, you can't trust them. You can never trust those barrels. No, you you really can't, man. You really can't. That sent now, I'm assuming such that, a weird spot. That JJ tech too, didn't he? Did he tech? I don't know. Mm. There was no flash. Oh, okay. I, don't I have think no idea what really happened. That was so weird. I don't. It, he never actually like fully slammed into the stage. He just rode the bottom of it oh, without yeah, I, ever actually I've seen slamming that. into yeah. it. I think sometimes that just happens. I don't know. With the, uh, the barrel, a lot of weird stuff happened with that. But either way, Dan's going to get that first game, and this is still best of three. Yeah, we are best of three till losers finals. Here we got it. Yeah. Two more sets of best of three. It's definitely something that you got to consider. Dan looking to get another one of those edge guard situations that he was able to set up really well in the first game. And he's combating the banana superbly at the moment. Yeah, he really is. I, I, don't, I feel like JJ's gotten a banana confirmed like once this set. I'm looking for that forward air. No dice though. <laughs> wow, the forward <laughs> smash is calling it out. <laughs> Man, doing a great job. That's what I love about Dan's play. Dan, he takes these moments where it's kind of like Ally. So 
they both play Mario in such a way where they play like the standard way, you know, they play Mario as you're supposed to, but then they take these moments in time where you don't expect them, just completely disrespect the way you're supposed to play Mario. <laughs> and do stuff with like random forward smashes. Well, they, they seem random, but they're incredibly calculated when you ask yeah. the player. Yeah, good stuff from Dan right there. Reading the monkey flip. Of All course, right. man. He probably could have got the back throw. We said, no, I don't want to risk it. Yeah, I'm... The forward smash killed all the way across Town City, which I guess is not that surprising. That move has pretty insane knockback. Oh, good punish right there. JJ kind of throwing out a couple unsafe moves. Really trying to get this percent. All right, he's gonna, Dan's gonna eat that up air there, just as a little bit of a guaranteed punish for doing that early up B. But mm -hmm. that's fine. Uh, it's not a scary edge guard situation that he could have been in if he went low. And that, that, uh, that flow was so good. Because JJ was about to get a banana, and then he just threw him off stage, lost all stage control. So that's definitely something that you always want to incorporate when you're a Mario player. And Dan's playing really well again around that banana in this moment where if he gets hit by a banana once, he's dead, right? Mm. So he's just playing really slow. He's only getting like a little bit of a fireball sometimes when he gets the banana punish, or he's getting like a banana throw. Mm. In the end, it's gonna call, like he's going to lose the stock because you can't avoid down to up smash forever. But it was excellent play. Oh wow, JJ. Now he's the one getting the punishes. Okay. And nowhere to run. Yeah, getting Mario, a quick little combo. I feel like he's a little bit faster than you expect. Again, playing so well when he's able to get that banana in his hand is Dan. Man, really wants that forward air. <laughs> Another grab and a banana for his trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, great up chase there. with oh, these up there. Oh, All right, JJ muscling, muscling through with the grab. Yeah, so this is definitely scary for JJ. Uh, he's going to definitely need a little bit more percent if he wants to seal it. But, Dan, all he needs is that up smash. <laughs> Off of the standard getup, JJ wasn't quick yeah. enough to get any kind of tech chase happening. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, that up smash, of course, famously comes out with the backside first, where Dan's head was perfectly placed mm -hmm. to hit him really quickly with that kill move. 